a question for the boys. Three years ago, I was given access to my stocks that were previously under a custodian account. Mm. Since then, I have spent three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars in oh, three years. I know where three hundred thousand went to. I only have a hundred and fifty thousand left, right? So he started with almost five hundred grand. Jesus, or over five hundred grand. Anyway, this was supposed to be for my retirement. I have told no one else about how I have spent my grandmother and parents think I have actually made better investments with them and earned money instead of blowing it. I read that correctly. He didn't write it well. Before you ask, I spent it on nonsense, rent, a new car, a trip to Europe, etc. How do I possibly explain this to my family without being seen as a piece of shit? My parents he- asked me for money a few times, but I told them I needed it for retirement, even though I was just buying random things. So he right. had... Over five hundred grand, he spent Wait, almost four hundred grand. There's, a there's a. Uh, <clears throat> why was the stocks in a custodian account? My, um, I and why were the parents like turned eighteen or twenty one? Right, something. but I'm saying so somebody had to put them in the account. Usually, yeah. that's traditionally the parents, right? So the parents are now asking him for money, right? A couple mm-hmm. times, or did ask him for money so a couple times. I'm, I'm so filling I'm, in some gaps here, but my guess yeah. is that the grandparents gave it. Gave some right. money to the grandkids. Got it. And mom and dad are like, hey, can I have some of that money? And he's like, yes. I need it for retirement. But really, he's just blowing it on hookers and cars. Yeah. That's right. Um, How old is he again? He didn't say. But since three years ago, he got access to his account. 21. He might be 21 or 24 right, so now. So you're probably very young with like $175,000 left. Is that about right? Uh, fucking one, sounds yeah. great, dude. You're one, off to a good start. Yeah, you're in a great place. Left. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so look, things could be going way worse. None of us here started uh, out at 18 with $175,000. Okay. That would have been such mm-hmm. a wonderful thing to like not worry about anything for the, for, for the, the time yeah. in your life where you've got to like learn shit and get your stuff together and make like connections with people. Mm-hmm. You're fine. You're okay. You did a big whoopsie by throwing away three hundred fifty thousand dollars, but the key here is to is to turn that into a lesson and to make three hundred fifty thousand dollars a very cheap price to pay for that lesson by 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 applying what you've learned here to the rest of your life. You're so young that this that this is a good thing, not a bad thing. As far as your parents go, we're gonna lie to them. Mm-hmm. You tied that money up in long term investments. If you have to lie. And make it seem that, oh, I thought CDs were the thing. Everyone always said, I put it in a 20, <laughs> it's, they're in a 10 year CD. put it in a 60 year CD. No, tell them you throw it into a SEP IRA and you literally can't touch that till you're 60. Sorry. And that's, then ta-da, here's a problem. Get them off your back about that because yeah. A, they sh- right. that's your money. B, none of their, it's none of their business how you spend your money. C, <clears throat> you're a decent enough, smart enough guy to know you fucked up. Now, you, you want to make up. sure you're a $50 patron, first of all, because that's going <laughs> to allow you access to the Discord where you can just private message me about like where you want to go from here. Yeah, that's for a reasonable answer. price. Yeah, well, I mean, look, I charge per hour, but you can afford it, man. Look, you're young. You got $150,000. <laughs> yeah, don't be stingy now. If you like, give me $50 <laughs> a month, I will explain to you how a fool and his money are easily parted. If you give me, look, the prop... <laughs> I'll say this until that custodian released that money, you had half a million. How about a new custodian? How about I hang on to this hundred fifty thousand dollars and I see what I can do with it for a while, and you come and you we touch base again in a year or two, and we I won't see do that. worse. I did this with my RuneScape account. He was supposed to boost my <laughs> archery level. <laughs> level. Never got that account back. So. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just, just got taken for a ride on RuneScape. <laughs> I'll never old forget that. How old were you? Uh, sixth grade and gave That's it to a seventh great. grader. And he was like, dude, forgot the password after I changed it. And I'm like, oh, oh all right. Valuable well, lesson. fuck. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Another life lesson learned. So you and this guy, similar boats. Yeah. I lost a RuneScape <laughs> account and he lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. But I'm on a much different track than Kyle was. Like, I had a manager at Cisco tell me years, decades ago, probably. Bad news doesn't get better with age. And there's a temptation, like when your project's behind schedule and stuff, to be like, oh, everything's going fine. Uh, and in, in your heart, you're like panicking and you're hoping you can catch up in the next two weeks before it like goes live or is due or whatever. That's not the move. The move is open and honest communication all the way through. Uh, it's it, Why? 
because everyone would rather know you're behind schedule. It, with it's who? not their business. It's not. Well, in this case, it's the manager, right? It, you're 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 you're, you're running behind schedule. Bad news doesn't get better with age, but I found that to be true all over the place. Like if I'm a kid and I've got something to admit to my parents, you don't just but he sit does on that until due day. Co- well, but the it's thing his is, money. Fuck I disagree. Them. Well, I hear you, but I, I think if he was honest, if he was like, you know what, I've learned, but I had three pretty stupid years. I, uh, you know, that, hey, I, hey, mom and dad, I'm not very good with money. Just thought you should know. Oh, good to know, son. We'll be very careful around you from now on. And we'll we, stop we, asking him for your money. Your father's business associates wanted to work with you, but now that we know this, I don't feel comfortable I telling think him that, lies. So now, here's the deal. The situation you'd be putting him in, in is just lying for years and years and years. One just lie. I, I do, one I, lie, that, but the told again up. and again and it's again. It's my money, and frankly, I don't feel comfortable ever discussing that money again. It'll come between us and our love. Perfect. That money is locked away from my retirement. I won't even be thinking about it until I'm in my late fifties. So that, please, yeah. mommy and daddy, don't ask me for money. That's how I, I would handle that I, as well. I agree. I There's think no reason you... for me to let mommy and daddy know I'm a fuck up before I've even made up <laughs> for it to myself. But I don't. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Tucker, please go. I'm Sorry, I'm. Answer. I'm just because I think that you are looking at it how I would deal with it if it was my parents and this was this situation mm-hmm. because we have a different relationship and I may just be reading between the lines and completely wrong on this, but it just seems due to the way this was set up that the parents were not in the know of pretty much any of this and uh that's like none of their business as long as he he doesn't even have to lie like what kyle said he can just be like okay well that money is for my retirement and it's tied up no i'm not comfortable loaning it to you and i'm uncomfortable discussing like finances with you because i think it would damage our long-term relationship i think that that's an adult conversation to have that doesn't deflect from him understanding his mistakes but also keeps the parents where they were three years ago, which is I also premature ejaculated last week, mom. I just thought you should know all my failings. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. Ooh, like <clears throat> but I feel time. like the alternative to coming clean is to just carry on this lie about, oh, I've been making How great investments. I've turned that 500 Oh, he did say that. You're right. Now. If he said that, yeah. If he's, yeah. If he's talking about that, I forgot okay. about that part. You're right. He's he been should telling not be them he's that. been making great investments, right? For all they know, he turned this half a million into a million <clears> by now. <throat> and he really has a hundred grand. And like you're just gonna carry that on. You're just gonna all go right, into now your that's your different 30s into your 40s. And all oh, now, oh yeah, now it's seven million. Meanwhile, it's like <laughs> two hundred thousand. Like I, dude, just I, fucking I see what you come mean. clean one time instead of maintaining this lie until your parents die. No, better lie then. Okay. So if we have to, so if we They're have on your trail. Them, you go, Mom, Dad, I'm gay. Boom. Different discussion. <laughs> if it comes to it, fuck your dad. <laughs> you pulled up and see a You go I don't gay. think you had to fuck your dad to prove you were gay. <laughs> no, no, they weren't buying it, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you this now. Those two in therapy, they're not talking about finances. Like, <laughs> <laughs> look at me, the master. <laughs> all, right. all right so if you have in the scenario if, if the case is that you have been bragging about winnings when you have tremendous losses not the losses just you threw the money away you spent the money then they're going to then they might be like wondering why you're hoarding millions of dollars or something like that mm-hmm. but i still say this money should a be spent frugally to support you while you get your ed- education or start your business or wh- whatever you want your life to be, you should spend some time and maybe talk to someone who's smarter than you about, about like how to apply that money and make that money, like mm-hmm. do a thing for you. Cause I'm just saying, if you could get your education without working a side job, um, that would be great. And here's the thing. If you maintain the lie, there's no way you can get your education and ask your mom and dad for money now. Right? So if you're yeah. going to come clean, you need to come clean and say, ah, oh, you you know, have you read about crypto, mom and dad? No. Well, I really took a bath in the crypto market. And I'm down to a third of my money left. I'm I'm sorry. I, I was up to, you, you know, you do the good. This is a good lie. I like this life. I think this one's is. the best. You got documentation. Two. Yeah. You'd be like, you Look, might, here's where right I started here. losing money, mom. Yeah. Seven million, one hundred eighty-seven. But I'm out. 
and I'm yeah. and I'm ready to start fresh. I like this one. It's up and to I'm you whether you're crypto. morally correct or you want to take the easy route. We're not. I'm not. I'm not an angel or a devil. I'm yeah, just you explaining do your you. options. <laughs> but if you want your parents to respect you and so, look, and here here's the thing: his parents and are asking you for worthy, money. They're gonna. You're not worthy of finances. telling this lie and reaping its benefits if you haven't learned from your mistake. That is true. That's the only case when what I'm saying works. You're not worthy of telling the lie unless you have learned your lesson, because what the lie is doing, it's preventing them from not believing that you've learned your lesson and 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 holding back. And like it's it's keeping them from three years from now when you're like, mom and dad, I want this business. Look at this. I'm putting my hundred and fifty. If you jump in with your twenty five for the just the building permits, I can go. You know what they're going to say? I remember when you spent all your money on trips and and women. They're they're going to be down for it if you do it that way. You got to learn from your mistake, though. You threw a lot of money away. I yeah, I would just he, tell the did, truth. It's easy. I would say, listen, mom and dad. By the way, I keep in mind, that. mom and dad are asking their children for money. Just be like, I'm not very good with. I finances. think he cares more about grandma. I think it's a genetic than... condition. What I tend to spend condition. money I don't have. Oh. I learn from the best, mom and dad. I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> Well, maybe it's not even that. Maybe mom and dad think shaking. The kid, you haven't bought anything. Maybe mom and dad <laughs> see the kid living a certain lifestyle while saying his money is invested and think that like, Jesus, you're making that off of like your interest or your dividends or whatever. Like, how much are you worth? Oh. Son? If they're in that sort yeah. of mindset, we got to get them out of there. Because look, here's the thing. For all you know, here's what parents will do a lot when their kid is like that guy who's making millions or whatever. They'll throw themselves into irre irreversible debt knowing they'll get the bailout from their kid they, they, they won't ask you for the money because you wouldn't give it for them you'd never give them eight hundred thousand dollars but if they drive up eight hundred thousand dollars worth of debt and say son i'm losing the house and all the cars unless you pay this off you're gonna do it that'd be a real uh, piece of shit wow that time. is don't maintain a life for the rest of your life to your parents it sucks yeah i i see i mean man that that extra layer of having tell them when you make up it. for it Makes it more when you I didn't even think it. that I didn't even put my I didn't even put into perspective if you are going to Europe and you bought a new car and you're living this nice life and your mom's like or your grandma's like where's the money coming from and you're like I'm making so much money on my investments I did this you're dumb as shit but uh, <laughs> I I still maintain it's not up to the parents to know any of that it's your grandma or whoever gave you the stocks in the first place that you need to come clean with I don't let grandma dead. die without come and clean you're gonna hate that dude you do not tell your grant look tell her on her deathbed Pe people are still right as she's, she's fading out you add a little tag you <laughs> 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 winks her back in wait till well, well, she's asleep <laughs> I, mean, I mean look if your grandma <laughs> is the one who's if she's still alive this loaded grandma on who's, who's yeah it says my money? grandma Grandmother's and parents you read the chat yeah i i didn't i was just listening to you um you should go back shit go back go to your grandma and tell her you lost all the money because it was stolen from you and cry a lot no. and tell her and tell her tell her look i'm <laughs> so <laughs> i'm so ashamed here yeah you gotta get the best part i'm so <laughs> no, no no tell her tell her your mom and dad have bled you dry because they're ashamed to ask grandma for money and you need grandma to like Listen, now, mom and dad are going to lie about money. this. <laughs> mom and dad are not going to admit that I gave all this money to them. <laughs> oh, my God. If, if Listen, you can start you need to fighting. carve your parents out of your life, Kyle, wait for muted. grandma to die and reap the inheritance direct from the tap. You got to get them out of the way. Suckle yeah. the inheritance. <laughs> the oh, my God. This, that's man, so this fucked. is a tough... I just... I'm having trouble even imagining spending that much money that, like, car... He said cars, right? He's spending about 10 grand a month. That's blowing. Th that's a, that's lot, of a lot of money to blow. Yeah. Like tell him your father took all your money and, and for a for a Korean penis implant and that he's <laughs> tell grandma about it. And and if she doesn't come up with 350, you're gonna Yeah, they're gonna take the implant back Let's and the circle take back. <laughs> if dad doesn't jump on the lie, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You go to your parents and you guys team yeah. up to tag team and clean grandma dry. Right? It's the only way. You're weak, familiar. old man. I'm going to do whatever I want with you. This ends when I decide it ends. <laughs> but it, to sum up my advice, dude, you don't want to care. 100% honesty from Woody. Life. Yeah, it, it just, 
I think you're going to the lie is only going to get bigger and worse. It's going to grow. It's going to be this tangled web that you've woven. It, it straight line, clean. not a web. Straight line. I told you the lie. Woody's point is 100% honesty, and you feel clean, and it's all on the table. Jericho agrees with me at least a 75% of a lie, admitting your faults, but maybe not admitting that you were foolish and, and awful with the money. Because I'm going to tell you, like, if a friend of mine, a family member told me that they had blown their inheritance, I get that that's your money, but like, hey, what the fuck? Like, like, now I'm more likely to need to help you down the road when that was secure. You yeah. are no longer my potential dependent, and now you're a potential dependent again because you were frivolous with the, your money. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, like, I, I think I, I vote for seventy five percent dishonesty. Oh, up to the and other including one hundred percent dishonesty. <laughs> no, Kyle, you, you, the way you said it, you you suggested it almost like seventy five percent on, or I guess depends honesty. on your definition of yeah. honest. They're like, mm-hmm. definitely go in, and the fact he was bragging about it that's that Suck. makes it way fucking harder to get out of this i do think he needs to be honest about the loss of money but kyle's on the money with <clears throat> don't say that you were going on european vacations and hookers and they already know you did those things but don't make don't make it quite so obvious that that was the bulk of it you know maybe lean you're a more bad person the, that's the point investing. the problem here dude is you're kind of a bad person for what you did <laughs> you did some bad person shit i'm what not saying tongue around you i'm did not some saying that stuff. all right I'm, not, these are the fans say, that I'm not saying you're a bad person. You literally just said you're I want to rephrase person. it, though. I thought, yeah, okay, these are okay. the fans that pay us. <laughs> so, so it's not that you are a bad person, but you hmm. did the sort of thing that bad people do. And, and, and so somebody from the outside looking in who doesn't know you're a patron, who doesn't know you're a cool cat, <laughs> they might think, holy shit, that's a bad guy. So know the truth. what I'm like saying is show. don't let your parents know you did a bad guy thing. Lie and say you lost your ass in crypto. And then they're still in the same shape where they know where the finances stand. They know that you technically lost the money, but they don't know how foolish and bad guy ish you were. They don't need to know yeah. that. Like, like, it's just like, <clears throat> look, every time I shit my pants, I don't fucking call my mom and tell her. She doesn't need to know how bad I am yeah. in life. Yeah, right? I appreciate it if you stop telling me. <laughs> Actually, Dude, I show you the stains. They're pressing. <laughs> it's, it's the beginning of March. A butterfly. Please become a $50 <laughs> patron so at the end of March I can meet this foolish person and he can tell us the stories of the dumb shit he did with his money. Dude, y'all need to be. I bet there's some good stories. I bet I you hear $375,000 worth of bad financial yeah. decisions. I'd love that is a Steve. whole nice He's got a xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> right, he could have had a house. <laughs> and yeah. Instead, he has a car and some trips and hookers, well, and can, he just channeled his inner it. Hunter Biden for a couple of years, and that whole money's <laughs> <Yeah>. gone. <laughs> you don't yeah. have Ukraine money, okay? You're, the big guy isn't the president. You know? Dude, that, like it. Thinking about like just empathizing and putting myself in this gentleman's scenario gives me like stress of being like oh my god three hundred and fifty thousand dollars i spent wait well oh that i would be so i, I honestly i would have felt bathrooms. so guilty yeah that's three I, and a half bathrooms if you're woody four bathrooms that is yeah. I'll, i could buy another house of similar quality I think like, multiple <laughs> tubs woody you know what I think it really there. puts it? I think it really puts it into perspective when you understand that it's not three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars of income; it's three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars of savings. So, just so you understand the magnitude magnitude of how much you fucked yeah. up, if you tried and saved like fifteen percent of your income, which is above what most people are ever going to be, like ten percent is mm-hmm. like really is pretty good. I think ten percent for I think for the average, is what you should be targeting. Okay, anyway. whatever it, you target that. Brother, if you make six figures a year to to save up for for that, that's gonna take you like twenty years of work. You yeah. fucked up twenty years of work worth. Yeah, that's twenty that's years like the, of normal person work work. But you're gonna be an overachiever because you fucked up so badly right here. Yeah, and you were a, you were a patron, and we, we we set you straight. If he was yeah. into, if he that's was like spending it on drugs, work, easy. Like if he's spending it on drugs, which who knows, pro- maybe on his European vacations, like. There's no way this guy was dabbling in like weed. Like that yeah. if he was doing weed, drugs, he was doing the real drug. <laughs> yeah. I spend <laughs> hundreds a month. Oh, I spend I spend two hundred dollars a month on this weed. <laughs> <laughs>